Oi, what's up legends, Matt here. You might have already known that the pack out drawers have arrived in Australia. I've just picked up mine, so let's go have a look and see what all the hype is about. So, the highly anticipated pack out drawers are finally on my bench and I couldn't be happier. I'm pretty excited to get into this. We're gonna be looking at a few different scenarios with this. We'll probably have a look inside, think about a few ideas uh, and also throw it onto my trolley and the pack out roller just to see what sort of uh, ideas we can come up with, what sort of set outs we can do. So, let's jump into this. So I have legit not had a look in person at these drawers. So I'm only going what I've seen online, but you've got your lockout on the front there. So that keeps all your drawers closed. If you're throwing that into a van, that's absolutely perfect. And obviously you've got a nice clip there. That feels pretty solid, not too bad. And then you've got your locks up the top there. So you can lock it closed. How does that work? Oh yeah, so you close that, put your lock in, then you can't open it up. That's brilliant. So a nice little locking mechanism. Push that in, beautiful. That feels very solid. So that's definitely what I'm getting from this is that it is well constructed. I would have thought it'd be a little bit more flimsy being some drawers, but that feels really nice. You've got some really smooth uh, sliders on the side. Can't complain really with that. So the capacity of these drawers are 11 kilos each drawer. So you double that, that's 22 kilos. If you're running the old school silly measurements, then you're running about 24 pounds, I believe. So double that, you're looking at 48 pounds for the whole unit. So let's jump inside. Nothing too much to see in there, but you've got all your dividers. So we'll open that up, see what we can do with those. Looks like you can take the drawers off fairly easily. You've got a couple of clips on the side there. The bottom one I'm presuming is about the same. I'll throw the dimensions onto the screen and I will throw them into the description. All right, no idea what I'm doing here, but let's throw this in. I'm presuming that doesn't fit that way. So I guess these only go this way. Why Milwaukee, why? Why would you not make them go lengthwise? That's really strange. So they feel, they're, yeah, a bit flimsy, but I guess at the end of the day, it doesn't need to be too tight. Damn. So I'm not off to a good start. Don't bend these. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Let's get a close look. You can sort of see it there. That's cracked. That's just from a bit of a bend. Yeah, so careful guys, don't, don't bend these. Do not bend them. We'll throw this one in. They do slot in nicely. They're still, I don't know. Let me know guys, who else has found these a little bit too flimsy? I don't know what you guys are throwing into these uh, boxes, but I can just see problems coming about when you're throwing your tools and your bits and pieces in, being that sort of flimsy, being in a car. Um, yeah, I don't know. I would really think they could have done something a little bit stronger, so. But maybe that's just me, who knows. We'll throw a couple more of these in. They do slot in nicely. They have got that V taper, if you can see that on the bottom there. So it actually sits nice. with the bottom of the pack out. I do like that. There we go, she sits nicely. Once it's all together, like that, that's if you want them like that, it is quite solid. So I take back that remark about it being flimsy. If you're only gonna put those uh, large ones in, you might have a problem. Depends how you're really using them. I would like some extra ones that could just go across without having the center ones. But you also only get the one set. I don't know, that just doesn't make sense to me. If I'm buying two drawers, You've got two drawers, but only one set of dividers. I don't know. 
I question, I question Milwaukee's uh, thinking sometimes, but I did quickly have a look. I think it looks like you can buy the dividers separately. Um, I think they were 20 pounds over in the UK. So they haven't been released here in Australia. From what I've seen, none of the tool stores are carrying them on their websites. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully they bring them out in Australia with the next batch of drawers. But if I have to pay, what's 20 pounds? Roughly like 40, 45 dollars for some dividers. I think I might have to make up some dividers. I don't even know if I'll use them yet, but if anyone that wants bottom drawer dividers, you're gonna have to make them up. I'm not paying 45. Next up, we'll throw some tools in it and we'll grab the roller box and the trolley. We'll see what we can come up with. This is the trolley. This is my setup at the moment for getting onto site and then I change it up and still use the trolley to work out of. It's been really, really good. If you didn't know, I've got another video where I actually changed the wheels. So they're on the outside, usually on the inside. Had quite a few problems with those, but I'll leave the link in the description. So what I will be doing is taking this apart and we'll see how the drawers go. The other setup I'll be looking at is for the roller. I use this for mainly just getting tools on the site. I don't work out of it. So if I'm doing certain works where I'm not really carrying around too many tools and bits and pieces, equipment, I will be using that. So we'll see how the drawers go with that. But I think at the moment, drawers are better for the trolley. So I'll pull this off. I guess, where shall we start? We'll take that off. I guess really, if you're gonna do it, you're gonna put the drawers at the bottom, yeah? So at the moment, this box, it's absolutely full, as you can see. That's how I'm carrying around half my tools. That's just to get on and off site. As you can see, I've thrown a whole pile of stuff just on top, but it holds everything. I've got the tough tool bag in there, bits and pieces, just hole saws, multi-tools, drills. It's all in there. Throw the drawers on. Beautiful. She's larger, look at that, look at that, compared to the, uh, that's the large toolbox. You get the extra large toolbox, which is probably gonna be about the same size as that. I don't actually have that toolbox at the moment. So yeah, you can just see that size difference, massive. We'll grab this. Oh, that's heavy. Throw that on top. So let's do a small transfer of some of this gear. So we'll go the multi-tool. Get that, we'll get some of the gear from here. Take out the tech bit. Couple of drills. What else have we got? Got to have the impact, 12 volt impact. Goes in nicely. You know what would be really nice right now would be some foam inserts. If I knew exactly the setup that I needed all the time, I would probably be going the foam insert route. But unfortunately with, I sort of change up jobs all the time. I am an electrician, if you didn't know that. At the moment I'm doing a 16 floor fit out in the city. And obviously I change from doing fit off to install to rough in. So it really is hard to figure out what I'm doing. I also change back to AV now and then. I do all sorts of stuff. So I don't really have one setup, which is why I do like having a range of the pack out and different bags and stuff, because I am always changing. So, where would you guys put the batteries? Would you be going in the drawer with them? Or well, obviously you could go into the actual compartments. I don't know how I feel about that. So what we could do is maybe, so I do want a fair bit of this to be utilized for equipment. So power points, that sort of stuff. We might as well throw that in. So let's just say you've got a heap of power points. You could go that way, that way. Could we go double? Not quite, you can go something like that and then fill them up. So let's just say we've got those. You can throw J boxes in there. You've got timers. You could throw bits and pieces. You could throw, throw screws. I wonder if we grab one of these containers out. 
they fit in there so you could always take them out. That's not a bad uh, little idea really. Can't fit it in there. Goes in there. There's your larger. Rattles around, so maybe not the best. So we'll go back to just throwing some batteries. I don't need too many batteries on site, but let's go 12. I think that looks too large, maybe even the eight. So if you've got just an eight in there, that just fits. So you won't get much bigger than an eight. That's sitting that way, obviously. With the 12, you can go that way. And throw those in there like that. That's definitely plenty. So you got the 12 amp as well, they'll fit. You could probably really, I'm definitely one to utilize all the space. There you go, that fits in there like that. So that for me is massively enough. That is way too many. So that's good though, and it still rolls in nicely. That feels like it's rubbing a little bit. Still not too bad. Don't know if it's actually just rubbing. If we get down here under there, you get right in that center there. It's just rubbing a little bit. Not a massive problem, but over time, and if you put more weight on it, let's give that a go. Put a bit more weight. So we'll throw two more batteries in. You really start to feel it now. Is that with everyone's? I don't know if you can see rubbing on the bottom so i wouldn't say that's a massive problem but i would like to know if it's only mine or if everyone else is uh finding the same thing i might put a poll out on both instagram and youtube to see you can see it's going in and out but if you're going to be loading up that bottom drawer I, it's not going to be ideal i guess that's that's the best way to put it all right what else we need i've taken the 12 uh, amp hour battery out we got to get this in, I have been taking this whole kit, but I would like to throw this in there. It doesn't look like it's gonna fit that way. That is extremely close. Don't really want that jumping around like that though. Nah, it's just a bit too big. I could really shave, depends how desperate you get. You could shave that down, but what we might do is we'll take out these. Might. Really, I would like to put a bit of foam in there. Just so it's not jumping around, damaging the actual laser. So we could probably throw the detector in as well. I wonder if they'll both fit. Which way did they go? That way. So really, I could make a nice little spot for that that might be a future job i was also thinking what if we clip these in so i have got and i've been meaning to post about them these are from stealth mount they're the battery mounts and i've had these for quite a while now and been meaning to post about them but i've been waiting to actually redo the whole shed before i did these i want to throw them everywhere i've got a few other holders from stealth mounts and we could utilize these to hold the batteries in. I would like to use the 48 tools. You've got the 48 tools brackets, but this is a little bit too long to fit in there. And obviously with these ones, if you didn't know, they're all singly. So you can put them as far apart as you really want. So it might be worthwhile having a look at that. I might do that in a separate video in the future. I'm just looking at the setup for this. Let me know what you think though. I think that's probably the way to go. What else can we throw in? Here in Brizzy today, it is stinking hot and I was burning my back of my neck, so I thought I'd go get a, get a hat. Did a little bit more fiddling and this is pretty much what I've come up with. So I've got everything I need packed away now. And I even threw the fan on. So before I did have the fan attached to the front there, but obviously couldn't open that because before I had the crate on top and the toolbox and the toolbox on the bottom. 
So I've changed it up and this is where we're sitting. So I've got my graphite uh, pads there for working off. If you haven't seen them, definitely check them out, worthwhile. And then we've got all their hand tools on top. As you can see, all the gear in the tough tool bag, which fits nicely because it's that sort of malleable bag it fits nicely usually i would be going the veto route i really love the vetoes but for this sort of scenario the tough tool bags really are fantastic they just sort of fit in there you can move them around and they're not as rigid if that makes sense then we've got all my milwaukee bags so you've got one two three while i'm here I may as well show you how i utilize these bags they're actually really good quite cheap but i've had these for over a year now just with drill bits these ones are sort of all my older ones but i had to take them to work the other day because i needed the ones with the uh, quarter inch shank so i threw that in there but they're all just you know all your old kits that you're half done with instead of leaving them in a big box i throw them in there i don't know if you guys have a sort of setup like that with all your old bits what do you what do you do with your old bits this bag, all my hole saws, it's not the greatest. I did have a pack out for these, but what I found was having it in the pack out, it was just taking too much room. Whereas I could throw it in here and really it is fine. It is damaging the teeth a little bit, but at the end of the day, you're saving a bit of space and I haven't really found any trouble. So I don't know how you guys hold your hole saws, but like the packet's the way to go, but yeah, it, it, it is what it is, man. I'm just gonna take that one. I'll probably uh, cop a bit of abuse from that. Not abuse, but a bit of criticism. So the next one, this one, is just sort of random bits and pieces. You can see I've got some sockets in there. We'll, we'll tip this out. So we've just got random sockets, a few different sizes. I don't know how that hole saw got in there. That's a worth one. I haven't used that yet. Sockets, drill bits. It's just sort of a random assortment. Little hole saw, what's that? A six mil spade bit. Uh, you've got your hex heads, a few of those. I don't know, this sort of has become a trash bin really. Some eye bolts. I've got my multi, what do you call this? Multi socket, multi purpose socket. This is really good. If you haven't seen these, like you can even use it for, for bits like that. It goes inside there like that. Absolutely brilliant. And we also have a 45 bit. I haven't used this in a long time actually, but I've been using my 90 degree one heaps. It is a lifesaver, really good. As you can see, that turns, which turns the end. So you throw your nuts that you're gonna use this in it, but gets you out of a tough spot. So yeah, those all fit in there. They're like the tool bag, just sort of malleable and fits into a lot of different spaces really nicely. Rather than taking up a whole pack out, you could do them all nicely, but I'd rather fill everything. Everyone, everyone's a bit different. Uh, we've also got a multimeter, just the tape measure, hammer, uh, all my bit holders, and that's about it for the top. So as you can see, you can just throw all that back in there. You've still got a bit of room so we can throw those back these fit really nicely close that up and yeah that does sit up there so that's nice it would be nice to have a little clip so i can just lock that on maybe I might look at that in the future so down here all your bits and pieces and batteries this will change i'm not using that many uh fixings and that sort of stuff uh, I will be swapping those over once I get to work. These are just random bits I've had flying, uh, lying around the house. So I'll probably fill most of this up with uh, fire boxes for your GPOs and stuff. That's what we're doing at the moment. So fire boxes and power points. I will make up something for the laser. I definitely like having it in there. It takes up less space. You've got the batteries. And then we've just got our battery tools and fish tape and your drill bits. So that fits in there nicely. You could really fit a lot more. I don't know if I would want to fit much more. Like for instance, I don't know if these will fit. They definitely will. This might be pushing it though. Move it around. So there you go. That actually fits guys. Wow. I'm really surprised that fits. That shows you how deep these are. Really nice. So at the moment, I could go into depth a lot more with what fits, what doesn't into the pack out drawers. Obviously, we just saw the reciprocating saw fits, the 
hammer drill fits, which is fantastic, but we could probably keep going for another 15 minutes. I might do a whole other video on that. Let me know your thoughts on that. And also what else would you want to see, um, whether it fits or not? Do you want to see, like obviously circular saws won't fit, but we've got band saws, we've got the little chainsaw, tire pumps. We could do a few different setups. I might do a whole nother video. So let me know your thoughts and we'll see what we can do. Well, I guess we should probably see if we can move this around. Not too bad. Once again, I don't know if you guys have seen my other videos. If you haven't, make sure to check those out with the trolley. You can see yeah, there's a fair bit of wobble in that. I don't know if you can see it on film there because it's getting so heavy, but I have found that it does hold up. So at the end of the day, Definitely not too bad. What I would like to do, and I definitely will be doing it with this setup, finding a way to lock that on like that. I don't want to really use a hockey strap, maybe some sort of clipping mechanism on the back. That's another thing to put to the list. But overall, she definitely works. So this will probably be the last thing I do because I don't think I'm gonna be using the setup much is throw the drawers onto the pack out roller onto this one, like so, nice and easy. Definitely do rather the feel of the roller box over the trolley. I've gone over this with the other videos. Make sure to check those out if you haven't. Obviously there isn't any weight in the bottom. I've got nothing in there. So that is making a bit of a difference, but just the setup wise is why I wouldn't use it. And if you're not sure why, it is because you need the drawers on the bottom. So if Milwaukee want to bring out a roller box with the drawers on the bottom, I think they're going to make a lot of people happy. So obviously you can access this nice and easy, but to get to the bottom, I have to take off the drawers, which pretty much negates the whole system, I guess. So to get some tools out, you're going to have to take that off, get into there and then swap it over. So it's definitely not ideal. If you guys are chasing any more information on the trolley system or the setup, we've got the front mounts on the front, all that, I'll put this up in a second so you can click through and watch those videos. But hit me up with any other ideas you might have for these systems or even some advice. I'm always, always honored to get advice from people and some ideas, it's really good. But for me, the rest of the day, I'm gonna go have a beer, I'm gonna mow the lawn, and that's gonna be it for me. Cheers guys.